fuck the fuck you have been brought to you by the breakfast of chumps and also the latest casualty in the war on common sense. Goonie Goku! <laughs>you think i was just gonna stop the video there i got plenty more to talk about on this episode of spot the liberal stay tuned jesus christ
because the media renders us clueless. We don't want to educate ourselves and arm ourselves with knowledge because we're clueless. And besides that, we don't know who we're voting for. So we just assume the people that have been employed by us for decades can continue to do their jobs effectively, which they have not. They've never done their jobs effectively. And then they want to censor our legal speech, our First Amendment rights. They want to take away the First Amendment. Not acceptable. It shouldn't sit well with you, and it's not sitting well with me. That's for damn sure. Moving on to another story. A man will literally work himself to death just to be able to provide for his family. That's true. There's not many people nowadays that are willing to work now because they're so disenfranchised, disillusioned with their own government. And that's sad. That's really sad. You know, I don't understand why people would rather just sit at home and do jack shit and get a paycheck from the government every month. See... Social Security, I learned, just not too long ago. Social Security is like trying to trap a wild pig. You put one part of the fence up on one side and give the wild pig food. The pig will jump over that part of the fence and eat the food. And then you got to get another side of the fence put up before it escapes. And then you got to give it more food. And then you got to put up another side of the fence... And give it more food before it escapes. This is how social security. This is how socialism works. Socialism. Is. Full. Of liberals. Who are lazy. Ignorant. Belligerent. Egotistical. Racist. Assholes. And loudmouth shitheads. This is the state of America in 2021. This is the state of America in 2021. We have allowed ourselves to let our own government, which we employ and have employed, dictate the way in which we live. And that's not how this country is supposed to work. The way I understand it, America is run by the people that built it, not the government that they elect. It's the people that decide which congressional members to get rid of and which congressional members to keep. And by the way, does it not bother you that a president's own biological son is profiting off the ass. Just to sell half a million dollar paintings. Despite the fact that, you know, Hunter Biden, right? Hunter Biden. The same Hunter Biden that was gifted a job by his father, Joe. Also known as, this is Will of Fortune, Joe Biden. You get what I'm saying? Let me explain something to you. Peter King famously said, It hurts all Americans to think that a president's son is profiting like this off of his own name. And it is sad. Because Hunter Biden now gets to do whatever the hell he wants because his dad is president of the United States. He gets to sell paintings at half a million dollars a pop. Paintings that aren't even good. I mean, if I'm going to have to pay $500,000 for a damn painting, it better be the best painting I've ever seen. Oh, and by the way, Revolution of One on Twitter gives this advice to you and me. Because we all need this reminder because it is so freaking important. Never let take never let anyone take your freedom because of the greater good. Because freedom 
is the greater good. I'll put it to you like this, people. We are living in a godless, leaderless America that has no morals left because the people that voted for these morons in Congress have no brains and they're losers. They would rather have socialism implemented in this country and have a 21st century Nazi America than to actually work themselves half to death to get what they want in life. By the way, I'm not getting a vaccine. I've said it before, the vaccine is the mark of the beast. So here's the thing. Bodie Wingler asks, if giving free shots is for health of the nation, shouldn't they be giving away free insulin and chemotherapy too? I mean, look at this. Look at this, okay? Joe Biden is the stereotypical example of a puppet. He's not a president. He's not a leader. I didn't vote for him. But that's not going to stop YouTube from shutting down my channel. Now is it? Here's the thing. I will not be getting a vaccine because my immune system works and I'm not going to sacrifice my immune system for two shots, two jabs into the arm that's not going to do anything other than kill me. If you have a good working immune system, do not get a vaccine. Only if your immune system doesn't work should you get a vaccine or if you're old that i could understand okay so randy quaid right the most underrated man in hollywood says the newsom cartel has los angeles back under mask mandate they don't want facial recognition during recall election in case some of the ms-13 members need to vote twice and you know what Los Angeles is a complete and total dystopian wasteland. And there is one person responsible for that. California's governor, Gavin Newsom. He's responsible for that. Los Angeles and Hollywood are run by criminals because of the head criminal himself, Gavin Newsom. I think that hits a little bit too close to home if you're in YouTube headquarters land or Google headquarters land. But, you know, here's the thing. All right. The Democrats want a three and a half trillion dollar budget bill. By the way, we're already bankrupt as a nation. So why? So what is three and a half trillion dollars going to do for anyone? Oh, and, and then they want to keep giving stimulus checks to people. No, doesn't work that way. And Ted, thankfully, there are people like Ted Cruz and John Cornyn that understand what I'm saying to you now, that understand that this is unacceptable. The Democrats' $3.5 trillion budget bill is unacceptable. I keep pointing out the crimes of the Democratic Party and the many abominations that they have created on our watch. The Ku Klux Klan is one of them. The Federal Reserve is another. The presidency of Barack Obama, which lasted for eight freaking years. I don't know how I was able to survive it. I don't know how my family was able to survive it. And the potential presidency of Hillary Rodham Clinton, which clearly never was. Here's the thing. The Department of Justice, and I have actually legitimately done my research. I do my research every day, people. I know what I'm talking about. 
the Department of Injustice could not locate almost 60 of the 96 phones used by Robert Mueller's special counsel team. I don't believe that. I believe they are hiding these phones from us, from the public, from we the people, from us, the people, just to protect the Democratic Party and their cartel of criminals. The Democratic Communist Cartel Congress are being protected. And Hillary Clinton, too, and her husband and her daughter, Chelsea. Here's the thing, all right? Biden at the G7 was probably worse than the debut episode of Jackie Gleason's short-lived game show, You're in the Picture. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Google it. You're in the Picture, Jackie Gleason. Google it. But Biden forgets that he's talking about the G7 and immediately decides to switch to NATO. If that is not a sign of a president that is not fit to lead, then I would like you to show me what is because this man, Joe Biden, has said this before, he's a puppet. He is not a president. He is not a real leader. He is a puppet. Put into this position by Democrats who want to expose his dementia for all the world to see. And they're still laughing about it. They're laughing at him. They're laughing at us. And here's the thing. If the prosecutors in Delaware investigating Joe Biden's son, Hunter, gave themselves the opportunity to seek search warrants and issue grand jury subpoenas, Joe Biden would not be president today if only the prosecutors did their fucking job. And because the prosecutors and the federal officials in Delaware didn't do their fucking job, we now have a president who is being exposed for his cognitive failures. This is something that has never been done before in the history of the nation, and there's a reason for that. Because... When you allow a man with dementia to lead a nation, he's going to turn sugar into shit. And here's the thing. Speaking of turning sugar to shit, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, the dumbest person to ever be elected to any electoral position in any nation ever, Blames the cruel U.S. policies towards Latin Americans for the Cuban crisis that is going on right now. Oh no! <laughs> of course she does. She's just... Here's the thing, okay? Listen. Every time a politician speaks... They are by default lying. Every time a Democrat talks and opens their dumb fucking mouths, they are automatically lying. Anytime an Obama appointee or a Biden appointee or any of those so-called journalists and experts and scientists that the media promotes opens their big freaking mouths because obviously big lips and loose lips sink ships they are automatically lying and according to Donald Trump Jr. Democrats are going to end the filibuster and push their nonsensical bullcrap unopposed 
they can only push their crazy agenda by changing the rules. So we have to do something about it. There is a petition that he links us to that we can sign at any time to save the filibuster. It is so important to retain and keep the filibuster active because if we don't keep the filibuster active, Democrats will completely turn this country into 21st century Nazi Germany. And you see, you think, you think things are bad now. Over the next couple of years, it's going to get a lot worse. Ron DeSantis, if I'm not mistaken, I think that's his name. His, the Florida governor, basically. Florida Governor DeSantis says that Cuban patriots are fighting their own government, which is now a dictatorship and has been for decades. Think Castro. Think Chavez. Okay? Cubans are engaged in the noble cause of fighting a communist dictatorship. They know that they don't have any guns to aid them in this fight, but that's not stopping them from fighting their battles. We don't even want to fight ours despite the fact that we still have our guns. And yet the government wants to take away our First Amendment rights, our Second Amendment rights, our constitutional rights in general, and we are too chicken shit to fight our own battles because we are that accepting of mediocrity. Ted Cruz says, The communist dictatorship in Cuba is evil, oppressive, murderous, and torturous. The Cuban people want freedom. Okay, now, here is the... Here is the thing about Cuba's dictatorship. If they had fought for their freedom seven decades ago, they wouldn't be facing this problem now. It's good that they're facing this problem head on and actually trying to resolve it themselves. But this is a, this is a fight they should have started seven decades ago. Back in the 50s. Back in the early 50s. So the thing is, of, of course, dumbasses, I mean, I mean, Democrats, you know what I mean. Democrats are dumbasses, so Democrat and dumbass are basically the same thing. Democrats oppose the Cuban resistance against the communist dictatorship. Well, here's the thing, all right? Why should we be fighting a battle in another country when we can't even fight our own battles here at our borders in our own cities and states according to Sean Hannity of Fox News fame border agents discovered 74 migrants smuggled inside a few tiny trailers by the way, these tiny trailers are no bigger than the trailer that I used to live in with my mom and my older cousin. They still live in that tiny trailer today. They're still saving up money to get their own place, but they're still living in that tiny trailer. Oh, and they struggle just like we do. They struggle just like anyone else. So I feel for them. I especially feel for those migrants who were smuggled inside these trailers so as to hide the fact that these people were smuggled into our country illegally. So, here's a good win for you. Here's a good win. You need a real big win? Here's one. The United States Senate passes a bill to ban all imports from China's Xinjiang region for horrific abuses. 
That's a good win in my book. I don't know about you guys, but that's a good win in my book. And ladies and gentlemen, I report stuff like this. I report stuff like this. I try not to scare you people. But ladies and gentlemen, if we had just done the right fucking thing and stayed at the damn polls long enough to watch our votes be counted, we would not be having this issue. Oh, and we let a Supreme Court certify a bogus election that never was. We let the media certify a bogus election that never was. We let our own Congress certify the same bogus election that should have never been but is. Okay. So, you hear about Cori Bush and Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and Ilhan Omar, you know, members of the so-called squad, the socialist squad. Cori Bush, one of the members of that squad, called to defund the police, yet at the same time, Spent $70,000 on private security. Holy shit! <laughs> that's nuts. I tell you, if that's not hypocrisy, I don't know what is. I mean, it's more like idiocracy, but not to be confused with the Mike Judge movie from 2006 of the same name, idiocracy, but, you know. Here's the thing, Okay. I have been doing this show for nine seasons. I'm much more toned down than I was in the first seasons. Oh, and we're going to close with this. All right? The real villains in America. They aren't black people. They aren't white people. They aren't Asians. They aren't Latinos. They aren't women. They aren't gays. You know who the real villains in America are? The journalists, the so-called teachers and professors who do nothing but sow division between us, the American people. Those are the villains we should be targeting. We shouldn't be targeting ourselves. I mean, hell, if there's something to go on, at least you could go on this. Anyway, the media is the enemy of the people. They always have been. They have been for decades. Anyway, that's going to do it. I'm Kevin the Skull Anderson. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Spot the Liberal. I look forward to seeing you guys on the next one. If YouTube doesn't shut this damn channel down first, goodbye.